Hello everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will discuss about alkaloids from pharmacognosy. This is just a introduction to the alkaloids. Characteristics, different type of classifications are included in this video. So let's begin. Alkaloids are heterocyclic organic compound. They are heterocyclic organic compound. They are normally basic in nature. The term alkaloids is came from alkali plus oid. Alkali means base, oid is me oid means like. That means alkali like basic like they have one or more nitrogen atom that nitrogen atom may be in the heterocyclic ring or maybe it's in the outside of that ring alkaloids are water insoluble and organic solvent soluble they are soluble in organic solvent and they are insoluble in water. The degree of basicity of alkaloid depends upon electrostatic status of nitrogen atom. Alkaloid name will end with the suffix INE. Its name will end with INE, example atropine, strychnine. All are alkaloid in the end you can see INE. Alkaloids are colorless, they are odorless, crystalline, solid in nature. This is a general concept, but there are some exceptions. Nicotine and conine are liquid and they are volatile also. Nicotine and conine are liquid and volatile. Berberin is yellow colored. Colgicin and physostigmine are fluids and have unpleasant odor. When we are generally speaking, alkaloids are solid in nature. They are colorless, they are odorless. But here you can see some exceptions. Nicotine and conine are liquid and volatile. Berberin have yellow color, colgicin and physostigmin are fluids and have unpleasant odor. Alkaloids are optically active, the liver isomer is more active. This is very important. This is the chemical test for alkaloid identification. First one is drag and drop reagent. The reagent composition is potassium bismuth iodide. That is known as drag and drop reagent. When we treat drag and drop reagent, that is potassium bismuth iodide with alkaloids, we will get reddish brown color. If we are getting reddish brown color, there is an alkaloid. Next one is Mayes reagent that is potassium mercuric iodide alkaloids when act on potassium mercuric iodide they will give white or pale yellow precipitate next one Hager's reagent that is picric acid so alkaloid when react with Hager's reagent it will give yellow color Wagner's reagent composition is solution of iodine in potassium iodide when alkali alkaloid react with Wagner's reagent yellow or brown precipitate is come 
muric side test this is for caffeine and other purine derivative alkaloids only not for all alkaloids muric side test is for caffeine and other purine derived alkaloids we will see afterwards what are the purine derived alkaloids right now we are just uh, learning when muric side is Muraxide test is used for the identification of caffeine and other purine alkaloids. In Muraxide test, the substance for identification is tested with potassium chloride and drop of HCl, which then exposed to ammonia. If there is a purple coloration, then there is alkaloid. This alkaloid is from caffeine or purine alkaloid only. Next one, Van Urk's reagent. The reagent composition is para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. It will give blue color when reacting with alkaloid. Van Urk's reagent. This all reagent composition is very important. And also Murexide test is mainly using for the caffeine and other purine derivative alkaloids only. They are repeatedly asking for the competitive exams. So study very well. We are moving to next section that is classification of alkaloids. Alkaloids are classified into true or typical alkaloid, proto alkaloids pseudo alkaloids and false alkaloids true alkaloids are derived from amino acids and have nitrogen atom in heterocyclic ring if the nitrogen atom is inside the heterocyclic ring in heterocyclic ring and are derived from the amino acids this type of alkaloids are known as true alkaloids or typical alkaloids example atropin the second one proto alkaloid they are derived from the amino acid, but they don't have nitrogen in heterocyclic ring. The nitrogen is outside the ring. Example, ephedrine, colgicum, etc. Next one, pseudo-alkaloid. They are not derived from amino acid, but have nitrogen in heterocyclic ring. They are not derived from the amino acid, but have nitrogen in the heterocyclic ring. Example, caffeine. Next one, false alkaloid. They are not alkaloids, but they give false positive reaction with alkaloidal reagent. When they are reacting with alkaloidal, alkaloidal when they are reacting with alkaloidal reagents, they will give false positive reactions. Next, Biosynthetic classification. This is the second type of classification. It's based on the precursor from which the alkaloids are produced. Depending on the precursor, alkaloids are classified. First one is tryptophan derived alkaloids. They are indole and quinoline alkaloids. Indoline and Indole and quinoline alkaloids are derived from tryptophan. Next, piperidine alkaloids, that's lobelin and piperin, are derived from lysine amino acid. Pyrrolidine and propane alkaloids derived from ornithine. Phenylethylamine and isoquinoline alkaloids derived from tyrosine. Imidazole alkaloids are derived from histidine. Indole and quinoline alkaloids from tryptophan. So basically we will study afterwards regarding indole and quinoline alkaloids. What are the indole and quinoline alkaloids? What are the drugs coming under indole alkaloids and quinoline alkaloids? We will study afterwards but this time you had to learn Indole and quinoline alkaloids are coming. They are derived from tryptophan. We are moving to next slide. Pharmacological classification. They are classified 
on the basis of pharmacological action morphine as narcotic analgesic quinine as anti malarial lobelin as respiratory stimulant boldin as choleric and laxative pilocarpin as anti glaucoma and myotic ergonomin as oxytoxic ephedrine as bronchodilator taxonomic classification one is cannabinaceous alkaloids example cannabis sativa marijuana and hemp are its synonym cannabis sativa cannabinaceous alkaloids next one rubiaceous alkaloids they are syngona species quinin next one solanaceous alkaloids they are capsicum anum atropa belladonna hyoscyamus duboisia nicotiana withania somniferum all are coming under solanaceous alkaloids they are all from the solanaceous solanaceous family syngona is from rubiaceae we are moving to next slide alkaloids chemically classified into two major category one is non heterocyclic nucleus others heterocyclic nucleus so one is alkaloid having no non heterocyclic nucleus the other alkaloids having heterocyclic nucleus first one non heterocyclic alkaloids the nitrogen atom is present not present inside the heterocyclic ring nitrogen atom is not present inside the heterocyclic ring the basic ring structure will be like phenylethylamine the alkaloids coming under this section this category is ephedrine capsaicin mescaline the botanical origin ephedrine is ephedra vulgaris capsaicin capsicum anum family ephedrine family nitaceae for capsaicin solanaceae next category heterocyclic alkaloids they are again classified based on the nucleus the first one pyrrolidin in pyrrolidin alkaloids coming under this pyrrolidin ring pyrrolidin category is high green high green is botanically originated from erythrocilon coca family erythrocylaceae so high green has pyrrolidin ring next one pyrindine it's aricoline arica catechu is the botanical name it's coming under parmesia spiridine alkaloid next one piperidine piperidine inside the piperidine category lobelin is coming conine conine is coming for lobelin lobelia in flata is the botanical origin lobeliaceae is the family okay the next category tropane tropane alkaloids alkaloid is atropine cocaine hyoscyamine for atropine biological source atropa belladonna coming under solanaceous solanaceae family and also detura coming same solanaceae family for the cocaine erythrocyanin coca erythrocylaceae hyoscyamine atropa belladonna coming under family solanaceae so tropane alkaloids are atropine cocaine hyoscyamine pyrrolidin alkaloids high green pyridin alkaloid aricoline piperidin alkaloid conine lobelin 
we had to study like that along with the botanical source biological source and family so in the question it will come there will be four choices and they will ask out of which which one have which one is tropane alkaloid or which one is pyridine alkaloid we have to select the correct answer the next one quinoline alkaloid alkaloids are quinine quinidine it's coming from the biological source syngona officinalis family rubiaceae next one isoquinoline example papaverin berberin emitin tubocurarin papaverin is from papaver somniferum family papaveraceae berberin hydrastic canadensis berberidaceae emitin from ipicacuna rubiaceae family tubocurarin is from menispermaceae family next one aporphin isoquinoline phenandrine aporphin derivative next norlupinine norlupinine family then indole indole alkaloids indole alkaloids is also, also important it's the alkaloids are ergotamine ergometrin physostigmine reserpin yohimbin vinblastin all are coming inside the indole alkaloid category for ergotamine claviceps purpurea physostigmine physostigma venenosum reserpin ravolfia serpentiana yohimbin coriander johimbe or ravolfia serpentiana also contain yohimbin alkaloid vimblastin vingarosia strychnine naxfomicus next one imidazole cat imidazole category imidazole category example of pilocarpin pilocarpus jaborandi uh, coming under the family rutaceae purine its uh, alkaloid is caffeine coffee arabica theobroma cacao are the biological sources next one uh, tropolon Tropolone is tropolone alkaloid is colgicin. Colgicum autonomy is the biological source with the Lilaceae family. The other one steroid alkaloid under steroid, steroid alkaloid conosin. Conosin is coming. Solanidin is coming. Veratramine is coming. All are important. Steroid alkaloid. Next one diterpene alkaloid or terpenoid alkaloid. Aconin, aconitin. The last one is pyrolizidine, pyrolizidine alkaloid. Thank you for watching this video. The next in the next video, I will come with uh, each alkaloid category.